Goodbye, the show where we tell you about a thing and whether or not you should actually buy that thing. Today, we're reviewing the new Forza Motorsport. I don't know cars. I can't drive. The only thing I can drive is Forza fans up the wall when I say that I know nothing about motorsport and decided to review Forza Motorsport anyway. I've long played Forza Horizon and enjoyed the thoughtlessness I can seep into when I just want to enjoy something chill and relaxing, but that's pretty much it. The extent of my knowledge is the arcadey feel that Forza Horizon boasts, so I don't actually know anything about the nitty gritty of cars and tracks and horsepower and traction and I don't know, some other car jargon. Car gun, if you will. <laughs> That's stupid. Regardless, I decided to give Forza Motorsport a shot given this is both a reboot for the simulation arm of the franchise and one of Microsoft's only remaining exclusives for the year. Can players like myself hop into this new game with little to no experience and still have a good time, or will it mostly be lost on me? Starting up the game for the first time was somewhat familiar. Like Horizon, it drops you straight into a race with a fancy car so you can hit the tarmac running. It pulls you right into the heart of the experience and makes you feel like you can immediately get started with no doubts about your lack of expertise. There are still options for all the technical stuff down the line and plenty of things you can mess around with to tweak the realism of the experience, but with no shortage of choices and styles alongside plenty of assist options, it felt incredibly welcoming from the get-go. After the introductory race is done, you're congratulated with a big pat on the back and then you get to pick from three cars to start out your new motorsporting career. A white one, a blue one, and a yellow one. They probably also have different specs, but I don't know that bit. Following a long and difficult bout of consideration, I chose the white one. So off I went with my shiny new Honda to get stuck into some actual racing events. There's a chance to practice on the track before the actual race begins, which I appreciate and it even gives you specific checkpoints and stats so you can see where you need to focus your improvements during the real thing. After playing around on the track for a bit, I started the race and one thing very quickly became clear to me. I don't use the rewind feature nearly as much as I do in Forza Horizon. Maybe there's less room for error or maybe it's because I'm more reckless in Horizon whereas motorsport is more methodical, but either way, racing just felt a lot more well paced and seamless. As part of motorsport opting for a simulated, methodical approach, of course it feels much more on rails than Horizon ever tends to. It's all racing, but the tracks in motorsport means you are very much limited to a specific road, and not much else in the way of deviation. This makes for a surprisingly appreciated contrast, and I enjoy the switch to a less chaotic form of racing when I don't want to constantly be thrown off the road and into a river. Tracks and circuits can be somewhat repetitive given they pull from the real world, but the time of day and weather conditions do a lot to mix up the experience. Even if you play the same tracks over and over, you will find yourself trying to hone your skills on each part of it, which is weirdly and subtly satisfying. Those specific corners that catch you out, you'll quickly discover which ones they are and then slowly work at overcoming them. I can see casual folks like me making ample use of assists at first before learning the ropes and working to challenge themselves more and more. There is so much for you to dive into, with various careers and seasons that will see you race all across the world with 20 tracks and over 500 cars to choose from. Then there's customization, which allows you to level up cars after you spend time racing with them, unlocking new parts you can install in order to increase their performance and durability. I don't understand any of this in the slightest, but luckily there's always the auto upgrade option so the game can do all that for you, without needing a job in the mechanics trade to fully get to grips with everything. Much like Horizon and previous motorsport games, you can also paint the cars, create your own custom images and decals, and share them online for all to see. You can use layers, shapes, letters, and so many categories of images to make the car of your dreams 
or in my case, something silly that I can chuckle at while I continue to race around, if that's more your speed. Having the option there and being able to dip into some of this creativity between the racing is something I always enjoy. Given its status as the first Forza Motorsport in years and a marquee Xbox exclusive, people will of course want to know how pretty this game is. Can I spend hours gawking at paintwork and track details? Yes, yes you can. Not only are those cars absolutely stunning, boasting a photorealistic sheen that grabs your attention and keeps you engaged, but the tracks themselves look incredible to boot. I particularly love setting the time of day to evening and adding in a classic rainstorm for good measure, which highlights the lighting, sound design and palpable atmosphere all at once. So what more is there to say? Not much, honestly. As a Horizon player, I felt at home in Forza Motorsport and was excited about how much there is on offer. I can't wait to continue playing it as an alternative option to Horizon when I instead feel like jumping into something more structured and less open with a tight simulator coating. Forza Motorsport is a beautiful and fast experience, but one that slows itself down to the pace you need while still keeping you solely behind the wheel. You can opt for as little or as much assistance and realism as you desire, and players of all kinds will find exactly what they want from the game. Whether it's a simulation that you will have to master, or something where you just want to hold accelerate and feel the thrill of racing in a high speed competitive sport without having to think too much about it, Forza Motorsport is prepared to suit those needs.